The Gordon Setter is a Scottish breed who takes his name from the Dukes of Gordon. It was the fourth Duke who began to develop the black and tan setting dogs that were common in the area. At the time, they were known as Gordon Castle Setters and were renowned for their pointing ability, ease of training, and great stamina. When he took over the kennels in 1835, the sixth Duke worked on maintaining the dog's field ability and making their appearance standard. Gordons were imported by Americans George Blunt and Daniel Webster in 1842 and the dogs were recognized by the American Cow Cub in 1884, making them one of the original AKC breeds. Today, the Gordon appeals to a special subset of hunters and dog lovers who appreciate him for his noble good looks, scenting ability, and mild manners. He ranks 98th among the breeds registered by the AKC. As his name suggests, the German Shepherd originated in Germany where he was created in the 19th century primarily by Captain Max von Stefanitz who wanted to develop a dog that could be used for military and police work. The result was a dog with striking good looks, intelligence and versatility. The adaptable and attractive dog soon drew the attention of dog lovers in other countries. While Rin Tin Tin is the most famous of the early German Shepherds, he was not the first to come to the United States. One is known to have been brought in the US in 1906, and the American Kennel Club registered the German Shepherd in 1912. The First World War put an end to the breed's popularity because the dogs were associated with the enemy. German Shepherds braved artillery fire, landmines, and tanks to supply German soldiers in the trenches with deliveries of food and other necessities. After the war, movies featuring Rin Tin Tin and fellow German Shepherds Strong Card brought the breed back into favor. American audiences loved them. For a time, the German Shepherd was the most popular breed in the United States, and now he's second in line to the mighty Golden Retriever. Gordons are attentive and lively with agreeable dispositions. They are loyal to their family and wary of strangers, both characteristics that make them excellent watchdogs. If you introduce your Gordon to someone, he'll accept their attention but isn't likely to seek it out. A Gordon should never be shy or aggressive towards people, but he may be aggressive towards other dogs. He can learn to get along well with cats if he's raised with them since puppyhood, but he may view outdoor animals as prey. With children, the Gordon is a good friend, especially if he's raised with them. If a Gordon doesn't like the way a child is playing with him, he's apt to just walk away. A young Gordon may be too rambunctious for a toddler though. The Gordon should be calm and quiet in a household, that is, until he sees you pulling out your shotgun for hunting or the leash for a walk. He has a high activity level and a daily walk or run of at least one hour, which can be broken up into two to three which can be broken up into two or three outings will meet his exercise needs. He's best suited to a country home where he can practice his hunting skills. If you don't hunt, try him out in agility, dog diving, obedience, rally, or tracking. In the field, the Gordon is cooperative with strong drive and good scenting ability. He must generally be taught to retrieve, but he's capable of tracking wounded birds and bringing in dead game on land and from water. He often ranges out when he's hunting, but he's usually good about checking back in. This is an intelligent dog who is moderately trainable. He responds best to patient, gentle handling. Before we continue, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button as it would mean a lot. Thanks. The ideal German Shepherd is direct, fearless, and confident. When he comes from parents who have good temperaments and has been socialized to become familiar with many different people, sights, and sounds, he is an intelligent, easy to train, devoted, and following dog. The German Shepherd is naturally protective of his home and property and will always alert you to strangers or intruders, but if you welcome someone into your home, your German Shepherd will accept them too. He will also get along well with other pets, especially if he's raised with them since puppyhood. German Shepherds are smart and learn quickly the cat's rule. The German Shepherd needs a job. While many German Shepherds are raised successfully in kennel situations, these are working dogs who have demanding and interesting tasks to do that give them the needed exercise and mental stimulation. If your Shepherd is a family companion, he needs to live indoors with your family and receive opportunities to exercise his brain such as learning tricks, helping you around the house by picking things up and bringing them to you or serving the community as a therapy dog. He will enjoy going for walks or hikes, chasing a ball or getting involved in a dog sport. He doesn't need to live in a large house with a yard, but if you do live in an apartment or condo, you must be able to give him plenty of walks or other daily exercise and opportunities to relieve himself during the day. Otherwise, he'll be lonely, bored, and even destructive. There are a few dog breeds whose fans don't call them intelligent, but in the case of the German Shepherd dog, that's probably an understatement. They're extremely intelligent and famously trainable. 
Their intelligence means they don't suffer fools or wimpy owners gladly, which means consistent training from an early age is not optional. Those brains, if not put to work in constructive ways, will find plenty of destructive alternatives. German Shepherds can also be way too much dog for even the most well-meaning of people because they were created and bred to work for many generations. Their genes tell them to be a guardian, a police dog, a guide dog, a search and rescue dog, almost anything other than a couch potato. If you aren't ready for that level of commitment, perhaps you should find another breed. Many people want a German Shepherd for purposes of protection, but almost no one really needs a trained protection dog. Most people or families simply need a watchdog and a deterrent. The German Shepherd's size, body language, reputation, and instinctive protectiveness are all that's needed to accomplish those goals, so don't get a trained protection dog that you don't need and probably can't handle. A socialized, well-mannered German Shepherd who lives with his family will protect them as part of his nature. Gordon Setters can be affected by certain health problems. The most common orthopedic conditions are hip and elbow dysplasia, and an eye disease called progressive renal atrophy is a potential concern too. Hypothyroidism may affect the Gordon. It's a common hormonal disease in dogs in which the thyroid gland doesn't produce enough thyroxine. Cancers such as fibrosarcoma are also seen in the breed. Not all of these conditions are detectable in a growing puppy and it's impossible to predict whether an animal will be free of these maladies which is why you must find a reputable breeder who is committed to breeding the healthiest animals possible. The Gordon Setter Club of America participates in a canine health information center, a health database. Before individual Gordons can be issued a CHIC number, breeders must submit hip and elbow evaluations from the Orthopedic Foundation for Animals OFA and eye test results from the Canine Eye Registry registration foundation. Pen hip certifications of hips are also accepted. The German Shepherd has a reputation for being prone to hip dysplasia, but breeders are working to decrease the occurrence of this genetic malformation. When a dog has hip dysplasia, the head of the thigh bone doesn't fit properly into the hip socket. Over time, the bone begins to wear away, eventually resulting in painful arthritis. Depending on the severity of the condition, hip dysplasia can be managed with medication or the hips can be surgically replaced at a cost of thousands of dollars per hip. It's impossible to know if a dog has hip dysplasia simply from examining him or watching him move. Degenerative myelopathy is one of the most devastating of conditions that can affect GSTs. This neurological disease results in a slow, creeping paralysis of the dog's hindquarters. It's untreatable and eventually the dog won't be able to move on his own. Watch your dog carefully for signs of pain and discomfort that come on gradually rather than suddenly and check his nails at least once a month to watch for signs of uneven wear. While DM in dogs is incurable, the course of the disease can be slowed with treatment. Like many other large breeds, German Shepherds can suffer from a wide variety of heart diseases including murmurs, valve diseases and a large heart. An annual heart exam is critical in catching these conditions early on as many of them respond well to treatment. Before individual German Shepherds can be included in the Canine Health Information Center CHIC, the German Shepherd Dog Club of America requires them to have hip and elbow certifications from the Orthopedic Foundation for Animals OFA and GSDCA temperament test results on file with OFA. The Gordon has a long, thick coat with feathering on the ears, legs, belly, and tail. Depending on the type of train your Gordon is out in every day, you probably need to brush and comb him 1-3 to three days a week to prevent or remove tangles and mats, remove dead hair, and distribute skin holes. In addition to brushing, you'll need to trim the hair on the bottom of his feet and between his toes. The Gordon Setter sheds moderately. The more often you brush him, the less hair you will find on your floor, furniture, and clothing. Gordons also love swimming and playing in water, so be sure to keep the ears clean and dry to prevent bacterial or yeast infections from taking hold. The German Shepherd dog has a thick, medium length double coat that sheds a lot and constantly, so much that even his fans call him a German Shedder. The other coat sheds heavily in spring and fall and the German Shepherd must be brushed and bathed frequently during that time to get out all that loose hair. The rest of the year, weekly brushing is generally enough to keep him clean. If the German Shepherd is your breed of choice, purchase a heavy-duty vacuum cleaner. Don't get a German Shepherd if you have allergies or are a fussy housekeeper. 
The rest is basic care. Trim the nails as needed, usually once a month, and good dental hygiene is important. So brush the teeth frequently for good overall health and fresh breath. Check the ears weekly for dirt, redness, or a bad odor that can indicate an infection. If the ears look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball dampened with a gentle ear cleaner recommended by your veterinarian. It's best to introduce your dog to grooming at an early age so he will accept it gracefully. Alright guys, which one do you think you'll get? Tell me down in the comments.